Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Ashes of Outland third balance patch is here, and that brought about it a paladin buff. Alder Attendant into a 1 mana 1 tree with the same battle cry effect that it used to have. So Paladin finally has a 1 drop. And of course, a lot of people have now been playing with Paladin. This Paladin list is a pure Paladin list. It was built by No Hands Gamer. I played around with this a little bit. But I've also looked into statistics on Paladin now that we have some thousands of games played with Paladin decks. And I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is that. For example, this list is able to have more than 50% win rate. So theoretically, it is possible to climb with this list. The bad news is that the win rate over 50% is just a tiny bit over 50%. We're talking about 50.5, 51%. So yeah, Paladin still doesn't look like it's great. That said, I think that there's going to have to be a lot of new innovation when it comes to Paladin lists. This is a relatively fine specimen of what pure Paladin lists look like nowadays. There are several different variants you can check on HS Replay, and all of them are performing at roughly equal levels. So some kind of breakthrough is still needed to make Paladin good. But pure Paladin decks like this one from No Hands Gamer are something that you can play if you really, really want to play Paladin. The most important cards in this list are the Elder Attendant. Getting that on one has a huge effect on your win rate. It's by far the best mulligan card in the deck. And then if you can curve it from that into Hand of Adal, that of course helps a lot. And then later in the game, Libram of Hope is the key card that makes this deck shine when it does. But we'll see. I'll try to brew something up and I'm sure lots of other people are also trying to fix Paladin. So hopefully we will find some innovations that make a breakthrough for the class. In the meanwhile, this is what the current Paladin lists look like in action. I might keep the Zealot against Rogue because there's often something that's like the Miscreant or something early on. Now we even have the Talritha. Isn't Priest just straight up counter to the Slipram deck? Well, most decks are straight up counters to the Slipram deck, I suppose. Like, now I don't have a dragon. I have played with Talritha before the rotation a lot. And I do like Talritha, in theory. Just never has the support it needs. Well, now I found a dragon. So I can actually play the Dragon Rider. It's going to get seal fated. But at least my dragon is going to get a buff. The dragon eventually is going to get s stunned, but... That, that's something for another day. Right. It's a lot of time. Do I want to kill some of this stuff here? I could have also just hero powered and played Hand of Adal, I think. Do I want to hit Rogue in the face, or do I want to kill a minion? I think I actually want to kill this minion, because Rogue could coin face as Corruptor. Kind of a unlikely scenario, but I wouldn't be able to deal with those 4 force very well. So I guess I don't want to enable that. Kept a card and has not played it. What do you keep like that? I don't know. I guess the truth seeker comes out here. I'll drop a Libram of Wisdom on it. Looks like if he has stunners or saps and he uses one on this, then maybe there isn't another one for the Amber Watcher later on. So that's sort of kind of trying to bait. Bait the removal. That was a flick. Okay, so I will not get full discounts on my Librams. But this is still not too bad. Because I can hero power. And I can play Hand of Adal. 
on this minion to draw a card. And I will be able to play this minion. And I can play this minion. And I can play that Libram over there. And then I can kill that Flick. Okay, so I'm not getting the full discounts on the Libram, so no hope for Fliadrin into Libram of Hope on the same turn. But this is not looking too bad. I just need to find more dragons. Like, this this low dragon count and Talrita, this, this aspect of the work simply does not work. It really needs something more. I don't want to play Libram for Justice here. I'm going to just play the Anvil Watcher on my face. And Hero Power a little. Play the Libram Wisdom over there. Try something like this. Obviously now this Death Rattle can be... Can be gotten rid of with a Stunner, which is coming now. I wasn't sure if there was a Stunner in hand. And it's still not terrible, I mean, I get a card that can heal me for 8. It's not all bad. But there are plenty of lackeys. So, the secret. Ambush. Hmm? Let's see. Oh, I don't really want the Death Wing. Maybe an Onyxia. Maybe an Onyxia is a big enough threat. It was the ambush. Right into the trap, you say? Yeah, I guess so. That kind of just happened. Do that, and we'll play the Wisdom over there. Let's try something like this. Now we have a few minions on this board. Maybe we can try to contest his stuff. If everything dies, I always have Onyxia. But that would of course mean that I would have to get rid of the Ambusher somehow. Which might not happen. More lackeys. There's a bunch of three lackeys now in hand. Oh dear. That's a good one. We get rid of the Ambusher, right? Yeah, but there's still enough stuff left on the board to handle Onyxia. Might still be an Onyxia turn, though. Oh, if I only found a Consecration. Ooh, that was a good Shadow Step. It's still going to be an Onyxia turn for me. And the Libram Wisdom on the Onyxia. So that if he plays the if he plays the faceless corruptor, he will still need to use one of the one ones as well. Okay, that draws the Galagron. How many times has it been invoked? One just once. That's another lucky. Only one invoke on the Galagron so far. That's at least something. And I have the Librum of Justice here, so all of these one ones that I have are going to be able to just trade away his board. And that's what we're going for, isn't it? Yeah, that, that obviously has got to be what we're going for here. Remember of Justice and then Pew. And Pew. Add it over there too. I can face tank that one. And then play an Anvil Watcher on my face. Do want to imprison Sanjil? Yeah, we might do that. Wisdom on this one, push to the rogue. Alright. I'll need to use the Libram of Hope. I have a Hand of Adal. 
have a hand of a doll <laughs> in the li Liadrin. And that's it. And Libram and these Libram of Wisdoms. Alright, now twice invoke Kalagon like two free cards. But didn't get the five attack weapon. And Gronks has been spent. Fleek has been spent. So that's like Heist Baron and something. I we need to just jam the Libram of Hope next turn. Then I can refill with the Liadrin. I do want to draw cards as well. Let's hit him in the face and draw a card. Play the Libram of Hope. Smack him in the face a little bit more. Okay. So far, so good. Hanar is left. Another stunner is left. Numerous secrets are left. There have been two backstabs played, so this is not a Highlander deck. There is no Zeppers and Dragon Queen. So now there's Libram of Wisdoms, ha one Hand of Adal, one Libram of Hope in the Liadrin. The Alright, there comes the second stunner. From Power. Could be a bamboozle. Oh, that was so good. I was really hoping that the minion would survive. I was really hoping that the minion would survive. He's going to kill the 1-1, one, one. yeah. So if it's ambush, I cannot save the, the Ancient Guardian. So I'm not playing the Ancient Guardian yet, right? Nor will I play the Liadrin. I could take a swing at one of these first. See if it's Bamboozle. Burn. Let's check for Bamboozle. Now it's Dirty Tricks or it's Ambush. I can also just play a Libram of Wisdom here. Check for Dirty Tricks. Now it's Ambush. Okay. Well now we know exactly what we're up against. Do I want to play the attendant anyway? Mm, no, we're not. We're not triggering the ambush yet. We'll just go with these for now. Eleven cards left. Eleven cards left. There's also a world in which I lose in fatigue. Maybe. We are now. Hello. Oh boy, the value. The value train is here. The value train is a coming. So that could now be a bamboozle. Or a dirty tricks, of course. So I still can't handle the... Still cannot handle... The ambush. If there's an ambush and a bamboozle, like if I play a minion and then I consecrate and try to hit into the ambusher, I kind of don't want to spend the... But I can find out. I can play the attendant, so the ambush will trigger. Then I can play the Libram of Wisdom to see if it's Dirty Tricks. And it is indeed Dirty Tricks and not Bamboozle. In which case I can then use a Consecration. And kill the Ambusher. Although this means that I cannot use... Uh, well, Sitting Minions Attack and Health to 1 is fine, because it, it removes it as an effective threat anyway. So I guess that's okay. 
All right, so now we got a little bit of fatigue advantage, but he still has a lot of resources left. Those resources just keep coming. Turn after turn. It's time to Liadrin, isn't it? Can't wait for another Librum of Hope. I've seen both stunners, so... How is he going to remove an Ancient Guardian? That would be the main alternative here. I think I can go with the Ancient Guardian here still. Make it a 9-9. Nine -nine. But eight cards in Rogue's hand. That's a lot of resources. Hanar is still left. And lots of good random dragons can be generated. Well, if that one is going for the if he's going for the crown. I can't answer the crown, right? I might not be able to answer the crown. I have one Librum of Justice left in the deck, but I was avoiding drawing because I thought that... Okay, bad crown. You didn't get a good crown. But then what? Am I still in the clear? I can't deal 20 in a single turn, right? Should I... 15, 20, 24. He has 24 here. It's just six, eight, not quite enough. So I'm banking everything that he doesn't have an answer to a big minion, right? Okay. I've seen both of the stunners. I've seen the Kronks. I've seen the Flick. I've seen the Heist Baron treasure. That was actually a small lethal out because if I got the second hand of a Dal instead of the Blessing of Wisdom, that would have actually been 20 damage. But it was a fairly small, small lethal out there. What can he find? I will act as your skin. end up burning a card now of course <laughs> that would have been lethal right no it wouldn't have been lethal I would not have been able to kill the shield well what can I do Let's start with the Bronze Explorer. These don't really matter, right? I don't think there's going to be a place where I can do these. There's a little bit of hope here. I 
I need to use the Libra of Justice too. It's a little bit too slow there. I think I just need, needed to just play all the Librams, of course. I was a little indecisive on that turn. I know Rogue might find a way. Probably needed to drop a couple of those on this one too. But this gives the Rogue a bit too many outs. Yeah. It's just a little bit a little bit slow. So I've seen I've seen two sealed fates now, I've seen two eviscerates. Lethal. <laughs> Sometimes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.